So in this episode of Vinyl Rewind, we're going to look at the RTL DOS virus. Now, there's only one variant of it called 805, and RTL is an acronym for Right to Life, and we'll pretty much see why that is the case with this virus. So before I do that, I've got my virus diskette in the computer, and the diskette is right protected to accidentally keep from infecting any of the other viruses or deleting the files on the disk. So to show that, I will go back a directory and try to delete the nice VGA240 program on here that provides the nice 60 hertz refresh. As you see, we get our write protect error. So I will abort. And then we go back to the DOS directory. Bring up our directory listing once again. And it is RTL805. So that's the one we will run. So I get just a little bit of hard drive activity and it returns us to the DOS prompt. So RTL is now loaded in memory and it will infect any .com files that we run. In fact, checking the hard drive there, it probably tried to infect certain files on there already. But the main thing is, is that when RTL is loaded into memory, its payload happens whenever we try to run a delete command. So let me go back to what I was just doing before by trying to delete our VGA program. And we get a beep error from the computer. Doesn't even give us the right protect error from the floppy disk drive, because again, we're still using the floppy disk that's right protected. And it prints out, I'm sorry, but I cannot let you... Well, it says, I'm sorry, but I can't let you mercilessly slaughter your innocent files in their prime. Files have a right to life, too, in caps. And then it gives us an access denied because it has intercepted the delete command and denied access to the file. Now we can still run this program. See, it executes and runs just fine. But anytime we attempt to use any kind of delete function, the RTL virus being loaded into memory intercepts it and denies access to the file, basically giving its own version of write protection to that file so we can't delete it. And so anytime we use the delete command, it will always print this out, basically leaving us unable to delete any files. Now again, like I said, it infects .com files and possibly even .exe executable files as well. And if this were to infect the command.com interpreter, this would load RTL on the computer at every boot. So anytime you tried to run a delete command, it would always print this out in. Eventually your hard drive would fill up with a bunch of files, and eventually you'd also run out of disk space in that case. So RTL can be a bit of a problem in that case, but it's not a destructive virus in this case because it's not actually deleting files, just inhibiting the ability to do so. So there's not too much to the RTL805 DOS virus, but that's pretty much it for it.